we we met a lot of women who were in the fine dining space who hadn't you were just you you hit a nail on the head they had not raised capital um they went to friends and family they took on a lot of equity partners they liquidated shares uh rebranded several like we we've had the the run like what do you think is a a, a fundamental strategy that women need to know about going into the fine dining industry as far as upfront funding or upfront just strategy as far as being able to raise capital? So uh, now having been in this industry for 14 years and especially with my background, prior background uh, in business, um, okay. there are two things that I keep preaching and I really want to change for women in our industry. Mm -hmm. One is, and this is to all the women who enter culinary as chefs, mm -hmm. and, and that is what women enter the industry as. They don't enter the industry intending to own their businesses or own multiple businesses, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Most of them think of being executive chefs and a large, it, and so, you know, in culinary schools, 50% of graduates are women or even higher. So it's not lack of education or, 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 the, or the funnel of talent coming into the industry. It's what happens after. After, okay. So I think two things I would tell women. One is get out of the pink cage and start thinking about owning the kitchen, not just about running the kitchen, not being in the softer side of the kitchen, which is what I call the pink cage. Mm -hmm. Pink cage to me is pastry because it, 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 it just makes me irate how many women consider pastry a besotting part of the industry. But it's not. Unless they own the entire kitchen, you know, the hotline, sourcing, scheduling, costing, they can't even think of talking the language of owners, investors, bankers, mm -hmm. even managers. So they need mm -hmm. to own the entire kitchen, and then they need to, the second step is start thinking about financial literacy. Because even if you're a genius chef, if you want to move to the next step, you really need to know how to own, how to run a P&L, mm -hmm. or construct a P&L, a balance sheet statement, and an invested capital statement. These three things are very critical to start your own business and to raise external finance. So I, I really think financial literacy is what keeps most women from from taking that risk of external finance and limits their scale. Okay. Does that make sense? Makes complete sense.